Hello, Gumby1220 here again. In this video, I'm going to go more in detail on how to sync your video and audio, as well as address the standard track names and colors I had mentioned in the past video, of which are not the most commonly used standards. I've also created a completely different video and AAF file uh, to import that is better suited for the next tutorials um, that deal with uh, sound effects. Uh, now let's get our video in sync with our AAF audio files that I have already imported. And I see our video track here, and then our audio track from our AAF file is our right here. A two pop, tail pop, and some sound effects here it looks like, and some production sound. And what we're going to do, so we're going to come here, put our cursor on our video file, and we're going to zoom in. We're going to put, create our sync point like we did in the last one. Uh, except for this one, we're going to get it more uh, accurate. Uh, the last one wasn't accurate, as you can probably tell. And I'm going to select right here. What we're going to also do right now is make sure that you're in grid mode over here. Select grid. And make your grid settings at one frame. Your nudge settings, one frame as well. And we are going to use nudge, and I'll show you how to nudge over. And right now, okay, zoom in. And how we're going to nudge, we're going to nudge over till we get to the first frame of the two. And how we're going to do this is hit the period key on your keyboard, and that nudges your cursor over by one frame at a time. And that was, and let's pop up our also our video window so we can see what's going on. And if you hit the comma key, it brings you backwards on the timeline. Hit the period, fo nudge us forward. And we're nudge over, it looks like one more, one more frame, bam, we're right on frame. And what we'll do now is enter in our sync point and comma, a command comma, and our sync point is entered in. And now we are going into spot mode, selecting our video track with the grabber tool. In our sync point in the spot dialog window, we are going to enter in 59 minutes, 58 seconds, and 0 frames. Hit enter. And now, type in 59.58 here in our main um, main time, time code uh, timeline. Hit enter. And there we go. Our sync point where the two is is exactly in sync with our two pops. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go through, watch our video all the way through once, just to see what we have going on. Oops, forgot to edit that out. Looks like a little fly. And those gunshots it looks sounds like they were pretty weak, so we'll definitely redo those. And it looks like we need to add in some that were completely not in there. And all right. Now since we have viewed our movie, we have an idea. We know that we're going to add some dialogue in there because there's absolutely no dialogue. And we know we're going to add in sound effects and possibly fully backgrounds and so, and everything else. So we'll just create the exact same tempo that we had last time except for with the properly named tracks for the most common standards. And we'll hit command, do shift command N, enter in four mono tracks. And the first two, it's going to be DX for dialogue, DX1 and DX underscore 2. Oops. Okay, oops. There we go. DX2. 
And the, uh, or no, Foley trucks. Foley is just Foley. That's most, uh, is just commonly standard. And I'm going to put add in underscore steps. And then Foley underscore cloth. And enter. Select our two dialogues. Make the color. There is no color um, standard for colors. You can make the colors whatever you want. Um, but since I'm used to the my color scheme, I'm just going to stick with uh, what I had in the last video. Make my dialogue orange. And Foley, I'm going to make yellow. Create here. We're going to create two more mono. And then if you hit this plus key over here, you can add in another section of different tracks. And I'm going to enter in six stereo tracks. And these are going to be our backgrounds. And the backgrounds are not named scale A and B, then A12, B12. It's, um, they're more, more commonly known as BGs. And I'm going to put BGA, and then here's BG underscore B. Hit enter for those two. What I'm going to do now is scoot this down. Where there's three stereo under each one. And BG, good name is BGA1. A1 sauce, mmm, yummy. BG A2. BG A3. Uh, BG underscore B. I'm gonna copy this. Right, there we go. B1. Two and three. And we're going to select all of these uh, background tracks. We're going to make them green again. Yeah. Create. Now we're going to go in and create two stereo tracks. In the last video, I had uh, created our. These are going to be sound effects uh, tracks. In the last video, I had actually done large effects and small effects as SFX and LFX when sound effects tracks are more commonly used as AFX, BFX, and so on. Uh, AFX are more com are for your hard effects, your larger effects. BFX are for your more ambient effects or your smaller effects. And these stereo ones, we are going to make our AFX, our large effects. AFX 1 AFX 2, enter, we're going to leave those dark blue, and come in here, create three mono tracks for our B effects, or small effects, and name these, B effects, B effects 2, B effects 3. And we're going to make these a light blue. Now, since we have those, we're going to create our music tracks. Music tracks, they were, um, they're going to be labeled exactly how we had them in the last video, as MX, 1, 2, and Comp. And that, because those are the most commonly used. Change these to red. And MX. MX underscore one MX underscore two MX underscore three or oops comp bam there we go and uh, usually you know it's not a common practice to have a comp track for your uh, sound effects it used to be uh, but now it's more commonly uh, practiced as to where you don't comp them down so you can have uh, have a better um, control of them at, d during final mix down. And since now we have all of our tracks made, uh, they are completely blank, but we need to create two pops and tail pops for them. I failed to do this in the last one just because I plain forgot 
And uh, but we're get, we need the two pops in on every track before we even get started uh, putting in sounds because if uh, the, if a track is out of sync, we will not know and we'll, we'll find out later on and during the session and then it will be a pain in the butt to get everything back into sync when without the two pop and tail pop. So we're going to create that real quick and we're going to go in, we're going to put our cursor in at 59 minutes, 58 seconds, hit enter. And as you can see, our cursor is only on our first dialogue track. And we need it to be on every single one of these tracks, the new tracks. And so we create our two pop on them all, all at once. And that way, you don't have to go in and create it with two pop in one at a time. And how you do that is, you hold your shift key on your keyboard, hit your colon key on the keyboard, located right below your P, and just keep holding uh, shift down and tap in your colon all the way down until all that your cursor is on every single one of those new tracks. Now since we have that, we're going to come up here to where you see your start, end, and length time. And we're going to select, put in our length time as one frame. Hit enter. Now you see that we have exactly one frame selected. And now how you create your two pop is, you're going to come up to audio suite, go to other, signal generator, leave it at 1000 hertz or 1 kilohertz, and negative 20 dB, make sure it's sine wave, hit process, and bam, there's your two pop on every single track. And now what we need to do is create a tail pop and the tail pop is created the exact same way just two seconds after the last frame of action and since we also have a visual for the two pop we are going to nudge over using our period key on the keyboard until the very first frame of the bleep pop up on our video screen again nudge over it looks like it may be off. Let's try. There we go. Because I was not in grid mode. Got to make sure you go to grid mode. Or else it's not going to be exact. Alright, there we go. And move our call our cursor down. And remember how to use select all. You put your cursor on all the tracks. Hold shift, tap colon all the way down until the cursor is all the way down. Now we'll come back up. We're going to come here again to the length field. Enter in zero one for one frame. One frame selection is made. We are going to come up to audio suite other. Signal generator, 1 kilohertz, negative 20 dB, sine wave. Hit process, and now we have our tail pop in as well. So now that way everything we can get everything in sync once we start spotting and adding sound effects. We'll hit Apple S to save. Close out of our audio suite that it's sample generator signal generator. And in the next video, um, we'll get started into spotting for dialogue and backgrounds or spotting for sound effects and backgrounds and uh... So we'll see you next video